All right, here we are. Hello. Look at I even comb my hair for this. Look at that. Yay. Hey, Jimmy. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. What about you? I'm doing great. <laughs> Shut up, giant kid. Make fun of my hair. Hi, Laboso. Hi, Karen. GM, GM. <laughs> yeah, you're hiding behind your little, your little, little guy there. What is that? A munchkin? A giant kin? Yeah. Cool. Well, um, Giantkin is recording, video recording this call. We're going to be posting it to YouTube just for the sake of um, transparency. I, I'm going to get started with this, um, and I think some more people will trickle in. Mm, let me set this up here. And share my screen. Hmm. <laughs> cool. So I guess everyone should be able to see my. Yeah, let's make that real big. Should be able to see my screen, right? Yes. Nice. Okay. So recurring donations rally. Uh, show of thumbs. Did did anybody try out the recurring donation thing? Oh. Oh no. Kira, did you try it out? Wait. Try out recurring donations in general. Yeah. Yeah. I've set up a few. I didn't set up any big ones, so I don't think I'm going to be a winner here. But I'm sh I am should be still streaming some OP. Yeah, what did you think of it? I found it pretty easy. I mean, like, it was a little while ago, like, I want to say a month or two ago. But I remember I didn't mm -hmm. have any super tokens. Um, and I don't think the project even had their contract set up yet but it, it was all pretty intuitive and easy and just took a few clicks and yeah i was impressed with the flow overall mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. i mean i don't know if there's been changes since i initially did it but um it was it, i felt it was pretty easy and straightforward back then mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cool thanks so um i think for this um, call here. I'm going to take maybe like 10 minutes, maybe more. I'm going to figure out like what everybody thought of the experience. What did they think of the feature itself? Um, and then uh, if they like yeah. the contest, if there's anything you change, and then okay, um, right Arroz con Mango, can you please mute? Oh, boy. Arroz y Mango. Can you please mute or else you will get muted? All right, cool. Well, I'm just going to mute this guy. I don't know. I don't have the power to server mute, but. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Jose. Hi, James. How are you? What's your vibe like? Oh, no. We... I can't hear you, Jose. 
What about now? Do you hear me now? Ah, sí, ahora. Ajá. Eh, vale, hola. Eh, I'm, I'm just reconnecting from two weeks in the Amazon rainforest, uh, connecting with the Watuha Community Project. Uh, thanks to the GiveF, uh, we were able to, to be there and to do a register on, on their uh, milestones they achieved. And also we were able to conceptualize with them uh, the next steps for the project. So yeah, it, it, it was amazing. Two weeks without connection. My cell phone didn't work, the signal at all. Wow, what a dream. Um, yeah, what a dream, actually. Uh, actually, my, my country right now has a lot of uh, like social disturbances. And if you check Twitter and social media, you have like a lot of issues and problems. Mm -hmm. We doubt a lot in traveling. But mm -hmm. uh, once you get into the jungle and with the community, you have another reality. And it was like, oh, my God. You know, I'm, I don't know uh, what is the reality right now in, in my city be like, but... Uh, mm -hmm. It feels nice <laughs> from my perspective. Yeah. I When Lauren and I lived in the jungle in, in Costa Rica, it was like full COVID, full COVID everywhere else. And then you get to the jungle and there was like nothing, you know, it was like you had to remember, totally. you're like, oh, yeah, that COVID thing somewhere out there, you know, so I, it's weird. I can relate. I can relate to that. In 2020, we were able to go to the jungle and these ancestral medicine ceremonies, this community does, uh, they make it with a tool that you basically put into your nose to sneeze. Yeah. So what is that called? Rape? No, rape, it's different. Uh, this, this medicine is jopo. Oh, uh, something else you put in your nose. Something as you put in, in your nose. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a medicine from Venezuela, specifically mm -hmm. like from this community. And they use the medicine every two days uh, in a chant ceremony where the shaman creates the animals and the nature in their area uh, and prays for the family and the union. And this is like the last shaman that preserves the ancestral mm -hmm. chants from their community that the data is like from thousands of years ago. They have the, in their cosmovision, the origin of life, it's uh, in, in the region of Amazonas. And there was like this big tree of life that was taken down by like bad fellas. And mm -hmm. that's where the resources start to get into the, the earth. And cool. yeah, it's precious, precious story. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Hi, Lumina. Welcome. Hi, Ian. Cool. Well, nice to see everybody here. Um, so just to reiterate, um, I've got all the winners here. Uh, so um, what I want to do is just take some time, listen to your guys' experience using the feature and um, what you thought of the contest. Um, we're going to announce the three winners uh, who made the, the top overall donations. Um, and each one of those three winners is going to get a giver's NFT, which you guys will get to use to nominate projects in the upcoming give a Palooza around. So like extra relevant utility right away for those NFTs. And then we're going to go on and we're going to spin the wheel and uh, start selecting the projects. And then we're going to go look at the project that's selected from the wheel. It's like a little app that I've got running. You guys will see it. And then we'll check the project. We'll check the person who made the recurring donation. The person who made the highest recurring donation to that randomly selected project will win the grand prize, which will be an NFT, 150 nice tokens, so you can get some serious swag, and double the value of your of your recurring donation that won the contest in give tokens. So, I mean, some pretty cool stuff. Uh, so yeah, I started with Kieran while we were first flowing in there, but. Um, Maybe we can just go around popcorn style. If you guys participated in the contest or even if you use the recurring donation feature, um, maybe just jump in and tell me like what you thought about using it, what you liked, what you didn't like, anything like that. Feel free to jump in. Go ahead, I'll Lauren. jump in. I'll jump in. You know, I always got stuff to say, but I'd love to hear from other people too. Yeah. I mean, I think the recurring donation feature is super cool. I think it's awesome that you can just kind of like 
you really do set it and forget it. I kind of like set donation streams and then I was like, oh my God, I've been donating this project for so long and I kind of like didn't mean to, I was just testing it, but it's actually kind of cool because it actually drives a lot more funding towards projects. And I also think it's cool that we're like including it QF rounds. Um, I definitely had like, I think that like some of the, the, the user flow or user experience of it is like a little bit like confusing. Like the fact that you, I mean, then you have to deposit and then you give X and then there's like all these like kind of new things to learn. I think it makes it a bit intimidating to people um, who are like less crypto savvy. Um, I know that that's like also just like how super fluid works, but you know, if we get similar feedback, we could think about improving it, but you know, it works. It works. And I didn't have so many issues doing it. Like I actually didn't have any issues doing it, but I was just kind of like, huh, a few times. Um, but um, yeah, I think it's just a powerful feature and it would be great to see like more and more people using it. Cause then we just kind of like have these like streams that maybe to some people, like, I, I really like that there's a cap on the amount that you could possibly donate. So, you know, it's not like you're like setting a stream that like drains your wallet forever. It's like you're you're depositing the amount that you're willing to donate over a period of time and then you set it and you forget it. And then you're actually like you consented at the beginning to the amount that goes out in the stream. So I think that's like a really nice feature, too. Um, yeah, overall. Way to go. Mm -hmm. Integrating it. it. It was great. Um, yeah. Does anyone else have feedback? I'd love to pass it to somebody or. Yeah, here's some mm -hmm. thoughts. Maybe, maybe Laboso, do you have uh, any feedback on the feature? Hmm. Laboso, I don't know if you're able to talk. I can see you on mobile, but that's okay. What about Jose? Did you try it out? Oh, he's off. He's off in the jungle. He's gone already, guys. We lost him. Okay. Well, if you're able to talk, Jose, just jump in. Um, I, I'm glad that that feedback is there. Um, I've got some spicy takes, actually, if you guys want to hear this. Um, I'm actually thinking that if a project is already an optimism, they can already donate them optimism, that we should show recurring donations by default when you go to donate to them. Spicy take. So you go, you click donate, and then it shows you the same thing, but the first thing you see is recurring donations. So that's a spicy thing. Um, it's kind of like, have you guys ever donated like on like a traditional nonprofit website where it's like uh, Doctors Without Borders or Amnesty International or whatever? The first thing you click is like set up your monthly recurring donation or make like a one time. So I'm thinking something like that. I don't know if it would be interesting to going to like different chains or something. Like what if we brought it to Arbitrum or even like Polygon ZKEVM or even like Base. Base might be interesting. But yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I know that, you know, and maybe we could create a flow also to um, like let projects that have their own tokens like requests to be added. Because I know that like some people are reaching out and they're like, oh, I wish I could stream Go Dollar. Hey, can we add it? And um, mm -hmm. yeah, I think like we have a pathway for like projects who want to request to be like added to give backs. And maybe we need a pathway for projects who want to be added to this. Mm -hmm. I mean, tokens. For Not more tokens to get added in. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I know they have to do their own thing, like they have to launch their own token to like their own superfluid token, and then we can add them. It's so, like Glow Dollar, great idea. Love it. Glow Dollar has to launch their token and then we can add it, you know? So it's like one thing after another. Cool. Maybe uh go ahead, Lauren. Yeah. Maybe we can add it to our docs and just be like, hey, you want to get on here? And then we're like, go to Superfluid, mm -hmm. launch your token. This is their docs explaining how to do that. And then it's like, then tell us you did it. And then we can do it, you know? And we could just add something small into our docs that just sort of like, you know, that when people ask, we just link them. Cool. Cool. Yeah, there's some good ideas. Some good ideas. Okay. All right. I think we are cool to move to talking about, um, 
the winners. So I've got this little uh, little hush guy here. He is he's got the secrets. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna make sure that the other ones didn't open up. Okay, good. Woof. Okay. So um, yeah, all good. Top overall donors during the contest. Oh my god, Lauren, that soundboard is out of control. Giantkin is going to to punish you. Oh my god. Okay. So guys, top. No, you're not. You're just gonna take a pause for now. You're never done. You never stop. Hey, Mart. Welcome. Yeah, I'm Thanks. You're just in time for the winners. So, um, the top overall donors during the contest. So, uh, this was for people that participated. Uh, in the whole contest, so recurring donations from June 26th until August 26th. Among those 20, 26 projects, we snuck an extra one in there. Um, so people who donated the most overall during the contest period, that's who these people are, okay? And we'll start with third place here, and then we'll work our way up. So third place, Okay, now's the good time for that drum roll soundboard. Who's got it? Who's got it? Lauren, get it, click it. Drum roll. I'm dying, help me. Bing. Third place. Wonka. Wonka won. So he got third place. This is a spicy one. I wonder what you guys think of this. But I was looking at Wonka's stuff and he Oh. Donated to Gravity Dow. Hmm. I mean, I didn't write in the rules, right? But anyway, Wonka won there donating. Oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh my god. This is turning into like a teenage chat room, just like. Lauren's just there clicking buttons. So $30, and he got third place. Uh, so Wonka, I'll reach out to him, and he'll be getting a uh, giver's NFT for him to nominate uh, another project. Uh, cool. So congrats, Wonka. Okay. Second place. Lauren, get the button. Anastasia. Lumine Envisions. She won second place. And we'll go look at her profile here. She really, she like doubled down on this. Look at all these things. She just like, she got the contest. She's just like spreading her donations everywhere, testing it out. She's donating a bunch of dye. Uh, so you could see here, uh, I think I have it, but it was around $50 uh, that she donated in total. If anybody's good at quick math, you can put those together. She's got two whole pages of these. But anyway, congrats to Anastasia. Uh, I'll be reaching out to her and sending her her NFT. Uh, first place. Oh my God. First place here. Are you ready? Bing. Kotabe, can you believe it? Kotabe took first place. Uh, if you look at his profile here, he went big. He was donating ETH. He's like, yeah, I'm going big. Here's my ETH, everybody. Uh, and so a lot of projects like Glow Dollar, like Emprende Dao, um, Basic School Supplies, PCRF, Urbanica, got some nice donations as well. So. Congrats to Kotabe. He'll be getting an NFT as well. Uh, so those are our three winners from the top overall. Um, and then the grand prize winner, as I mentioned to you, we will be spinning the wheel. Uh, so there's this really awesome, not yet, too soon, too soon, Lauren. Um, yeah, control yourself. Um, so we're going to be spinning this wheel 
And then the project, there's all the, the projects that were in the contest that are listed there. The name that it lands on, we're going to go check out the project on Giveth. We're going to go check their recurring donations. And then the person who donated the most to that project during the contest period is going to win the grand prize. Cool? All right, so I'm going to I'm going to click to spin. If there's no pro if there was no recurring donations made to that project, then we're going to spin again. And we're going to go to the next project and then we'll spin again until we finally land on a winner. So let's get ready to spin. Praise to Ashley for showing me this. Really easy. Bright ID. Oh, Skate Hive. Snuck in. Okay, let's go find Skate Hive. Uh, Skate Hive, Skate Hive. <laughs> Here it is, Skate Hive. Donations. Recurring donations. Magic Mitchie, is that me? Who wrote that? Vlad. Vlad Nico. Wait, when was that? Started on July 1st. And he took it. He took it. He just had the right donation in the right place. $5 over there. Let's look at Vlad. Let's see what he's up to here. Okay, so he's donating to Giveth. Okay, cool. Who's Vlad Nico? Is that um, Vlad is the Brazilian Vlad or is that a different guy? I don't know. I mean, he donated to Skate Hive and his name is Vlad. So I'm assuming. All right. Well, I'm going to reach out to Vlad then. I'm going to track down this mysterious Vlad and uh, let him know he's won some sweet prizes. So yeah, I mean, we only had to roll once. That was I was kind of worried. I was, thought we were, I was really worried that we were going to have to roll a bunch of times to find a winner, but um cool. That's great. So, winner was Vlad Nico to Skate Hive. Awesome. Cool. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Just kidding, no chicken dinner. Cool, awesome. Well, I saw we had some people jump in. I saw Cheo's here. Uh, Fly Beztick. Beztick. I'm sorry, that's probably totally wrong. Your name. Peztick. Uh, I don't know if you guys have any questions or comments. Like, what did you guys think of the contest? Uh, if you tried out the feature, I know some of you just joined. Uh, what did you think of the recurring donation? If you'd like to answer in Spanish, go ahead. I'll take all, all languages and Almond will help me. Cool. Awesome, cool. Well, if there's no more comments, oh, go ahead. Someone unmuted. All right, well, good. Great. Well, we have our winners there. We have um, Gotabe, Anastasia, Wanka, and Vlad. The Vlad, the skateboarder, the Brazilian skateboarder that we all love. Congrats to our winners. And um, just a reminder for you guys, everyone that's here, all of these winners are going to be getting a giver's. Oh, look at that. Vlad's here. Whoa. Hi, What's up, Vlad? What's up, guys? What happened? <laughs> Dude, you won. Dude, I won. You won. You didn't even know that. You just won. Yeah, I just checked an almond message and I clicked and I whoop, I'm here. I was in another call. <laughs> oh, you're all good, man. I started a sentence in another server and I finished the sentence on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, um, okay, guys, let's chill uh, on the air horn. <laughs> um, people are excited for you, apparently. Um, so you just won the, 
I know, I know who it was. You just won the recurring donation rally. Uh, we spun the wheel. The it landed on Skate Hive, and we looked at the. Oh no, sorry, I rolled again. It landed on Skate Hive. We looked at the top donor with recurring donations, and it was you. So you win. Let's go. Do you know what you won? No, I don't know what I. Why did I? Oh wow. Yeah. Well, you won uh, 150 nice tokens. You won mm -hmm. a giver's NFT that you can use to nominate a project in right now. And you're going to get some give tokens as well on top of that to your give stream. Let's go. You're going to donate some more. And that's cool because I just nominated uh, Skyhive for the next quadratic funding, I believe. And he mm -hmm. said that we can do like one per NFT and I want to actually nominate, nominate two projects. So I'll be able to do that with my second giver NFT. Dude, you're going to get that giver, and then you're in. You can pick another project, your second favorite. That's so cool. Yeah, I never win anything like that. And when I do, they never deliver the prize. <laughs> now we got to deliver right away, man. I'm going to get you those. I mean, I got this Lambo next past month. I gave, you like, I, I gave like a thousand bucks for that guy, but that Lambo never, never came. Uh, I hate to break it to you, Vlad, but... Uh... I don't think there ever was a Lambo. It's coming, bro. The Lambo's it's a little coming. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Christmas, Thanks, man. Just wait, Christmas. This is awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, I'm glad that you showed up, man. That was super nice. Like, perfect. Otherwise, I'm going to have to tell you over DMs, but now I can listen to your voice and hear your excitement. Yeah, no, it's 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 very cool, guys. I it's very cool to get something, especially when you're like, because it's set up like a donation. It's, you know, just make me want to donate more. Awesome, yeah. I mean, keep trying it out. Like, I really uh, would love everyone. If you're here in this room, and you haven't tried it out yet, just go in. All you have to do is go click on a project. We'll click, uh, we'll click pairwise here just for a little like demo. If you guys have never tried a recurring donation, it's here. It's very easy. You just go here, recurring donation, and then you add tokens to your stream balance. So like uh, here are, you know, I've got some OP here. You can deposit tokens into your stream balance and then that you can start streaming out to all the other projects. So it's kind of like, loading up your credit card and then setting up your recurring donations using that credit card. So, I mean, you got to, you know, you gotta put some funds on there, then you just set. We'll stop the stream. So you're like, okay, maybe you don't want to donate to this project anymore, whatever. You can just turn it off at any time you want. So it's pretty cool. Um, I would recommend you guys check it out. And we'll be doing more things like this, fun stuff around recurring donations. So, you know, knowledge is power. Don't forget to get in there. Cool. With that, if there's no further questions, um, I think we can wrap up this nice little call. Awesome. Cool. Thanks for joining, everybody. Uh, stay tuned for the news. Don't forget, Give a Palooza is happening September 10th. Tell your friends. Cool. Thanks for Thank coming. You this was so fun. It was so great. Man, I love spinning the wheel and giving people prizes. I just want to say that this was great. And thank you for hosting. I just, I'm so glad I jumped in. I'm Yay! <laughs>
It's real. Let's go. Yeah, somebody's got to teach me how to skateboard first. You got a video, you got a real filmmaker this time. If I really, really focus, I think I can get on a skateboard and go like a straight line. But that's <laughs> yeah. about it, you know? I'll teach you how to work some curves, baby. Yeah, show me how to kickflip. If you win this raffle here. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody that sets up a recurring donation to Skate Hive, I'm gonna make a raffle for free skate class in Thailand. Oh, here they, we go. That's like, a quid pro crow that I that I can get into. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my original call. Thanks again, guys. Thanks, awesome. Vlad. Expecting those nice tokens in the mail. Yeah, man. <laughs> then you can get some sweet get a bucket hat. I got some. I'm going to customize one. Cool. Thanks for coming. Love you, bro. See you there, Giant King. Miss you, bro. Love you. March. See you. Cool. All right. Thanks for streaming, Giant Canton. I think uh, you can. Shut her down.